All right, in this video, we are going to go over how you can translate um, the customer portal uh, if your Codera's website is going to be multilingual. Um, so I have already signed in as a customer, um, and now I'll navigate to the customer portal by clicking my manage account link here. And now I'm in my account, and I can see all my order history, etc. Um, as you can see, I am viewing the English version. Everything is in English. Um, however, I have already configured some other languages as well um, for this Coder system, which we've covered in a previous video. Um, and I can switch to any of those languages by um, selecting my profile here and then choosing language. And it will take me to my profile, and here I can set the language I would like um, to view in my account. So I'm going to try start searching for French, and then I'll go ahead and select that. And now if we refresh, as you can see, everything is still in English because we haven't yet provided the French translations for the customer portal. In order to provide the French translations, what we'll want to do is um, go to the operations portal as an authenticated employee. I've already signed into the operations portal in another browsing session. Um, as you can see, for my customer account, I'm in an incognito window. And in my um, operations portal, I'm in just a normal Chrome window. That way I keep my employee and customer sessions separate. Um, so to translate um, the text in the customer portal to French, what you'll want to do first is go down to Languages and then select Messages. Um, so in the screen you can see all the translations that have been entered for your Coderis system. We can see some in here already. Um, these are for the website. Um, however, to translate the customer portal, we will also provide translations um, by adding them using this row here. So to, let's pretend we want to translate um, orders, for example. What we'll want to do is hop back to the operations portal, select the language that we're translating. I'm going to go ahead and select French. I'll hit tab to go to the next cell. And in the code column, we'll want to specify the English text. So in my case, it's orders. Um, and then we'll provide the French translation of orders. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Google um, to French translator. I actually don't know French. However, you might have a um, someone that does know French who's going to be doing the translations for your website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter orders here and then copy the French translation. We'll hop back to the operations portal and then we'll um, enter the French translation here. There's one more thing that we do need to do um, after providing the translated piece of text. You'll want to specify customer portal as the type um, for the translation. Um, that way we know that this is for the customer portal and not for the commerce website. Once we finish that, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, uh, our translation has been added. And if we hop back over to the customer portal and refresh, you can see our French translation is here. Now if we switch the language on our account back to English, and then refresh, you can see we're back to English. Now the uh, customer can also not only select their preferred language here, but they can also switch in real time on the website which language they want. So you have this language selector here, and if they wanted to view um, English instead of French, even though their primary language is French, they could still go ahead and select English hop over to the customer portal and you would see English here. Um, if they wanted to surf the site in French, but their primary language was English, um, they could go ahead and do that as well.
as you can see the French translation is here. So that's how you provide translations for the customer portal. Uh, you simply, for every piece of English text that you want to translate, you go ahead and enter a translation here, and then it will take effect in the customer portal. Thanks for watching.